Welcome to TravelNowSmart.com, the place where travelers and locals meet. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 20 best national parks in the United States. If you have ever visited any of the national parks, make sure you comment down below and let me know your favorite one. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we post a new video. We will try to make it every other day, so make sure you stick around. Also, follow us on Instagram at TravelNowSmart. Let's explore the best national parks in USA. National parks are one of the most amazing places that you could visit. Some more beautiful than others, yet each national park is somehow different. I have personally visited over 50 national parks on the list so far. In my opinion, choosing the best national parks in the USA is not easy as each is very unique. More than 300 million people visit national parks each year, bringing more than $35 billion into the US economy. There is a total of 60 national parks in the US, yet I try to choose just the best ones. Each entrance will cost you around $30, but it is highly advisable to buy the annual pass for just $80. It will pay itself in just two visits and will last you the whole year. At number 20 we have Dry Tortugas National Park. Located almost 70 miles west of Key West, it's accessible only by boat or seaplane. The park is well known for its rich history as well as home to the magnificent Fort Jefferson. Pristine beaches, rich marine life and the vast inhibition of birds that frequent the area. It is another park that I have visited and would absolutely recommend. It can be pretty hard to get to as it is an island located around 1 hour from Key West in Florida. At number 19 we have Great Basin National Park. Great Basin National Park is in eastern Nevada near the Utah border. It's in the Great Basin Desert and contains most of the South Snake Mountains. In the north, the mountain hugging Wheeler Peak Scenic Drive leads to towering Wheeler Peak. Nearby is one of several ancient bristlecone pine groves. The marble Lehman Caves have distinctive staircases and other formations. At number 18 we have Olympic National Park. Olympic National Park is on Washington's Olympic Peninsula in the Pacific Northwest. The park sprawls across several different ecosystems. From the dramatic peaks of the Olympic Mountains to old growth forests. The summit of glacial clad Mount Olympus is popular with climbers, hiking, and backpacking trails cut through the park's rainforest and along its Pacific coastline. With its incredible range of precipitation and elevation, diversity is the hallmark of Olympic National Park. Encompassing nearly a million acres, the park protects a vast wilderness thousands of years of human history and several distinctly different ecosystems, including glacial cat mountains, old growth temperate rainforests and over 70 miles of wild coastline. At number 17 we have Great Lake National Park. It is located in the Cascade Mountains of Southern Oregon. It's known for its namesake crater lake, formed by the now collapsed volcano, Mount Mazama. Brazil Island is a cinder cone near the western edge of the lake. The Ring Drive, a road surrounding the lake, offers views of the park's volcanic formations. The park's numerous trails include Sun Notch, with views of the Phantom Ship, which is a small island. Native Americans witnessed its formation 7,000 years ago when a violent eruption triggered the collapse of a tall peak. Scientists marvel at its purity, fed by rain and snow. It's the deepest lake in the USA and one of the most pristine on Earth. Artists, photographers and scientists gaze in wonder at its blue water and stunning setting atop the Cascade Mountain. At number 16 we have Death Valley National Park. Very unique national park that I have visited a few times in the past. The scorching hot weather will be your worst enemy. Death Valley National Park straddles Eastern California and Nevada. 
It's known for Titus Canyon with a ghost town and colorful rocks. And Bedwater Basin Salt Flat, North America's lowest point. Above, Telescope Peak Trail weaves past pine trees, north of the spiky salt mount known as the Devil's Cold Court. Rattlesnakes live in the mesquite flat sand dunes. At number 15 we have the Lassen Volcanic National Park. One of the most scenic and beautiful national forests in Northern California. You could very easily get lost thanks to the picturesque nature all around. Make sure to stop at some lookout points as the views are incredible. So many nice walks and hikes you won't be disappointed. Lots of lakes, campgrounds and trails. It resembles the Yellowstone National Park minus the crowds. It is one of the best places to visit in California and number 16 on our list. At number 14 we have Everglades National Park. The Everglades National Park is located in South Florida that is well known for its boat tours to see the alligators and other wildlife. The park consists of 1.5 million acres of wetland. There are plenty of activities to do. You can take the Anhinga Trail to see the abundant wildlife like turtles, herons and of course the alligators. Then you can visit the Shark Valley 65 full high observation deck to get a better view of the glades. Get on the boat tour or kayak for a chance to see a crocodile, manatee or even dolphin. Later, which is the sunset over Flamingo, the southernmost point in mainland Florida. Explore the Pinelands by bike, paddle amongst the mangroves or tour the historic Nine Hercules. I recommend buying the tickets online on Groupon, which can save you even $15 per person. Remember that there is no cell signal in the park, so just make a screenshot of the ticket. It is definitely one of the best national parks in the United States if you want to see alligators. At number 13 we have Shenandoah National Park. Another national park that I have visited and felt in love with. There are so many beautiful trails with even more amazing views you get from almost every turn. Just 75 miles from the bustle of Washington DC, Shenandoah National Park is your escape to recreation. Cascading waterfalls, spectacular vistas, quiet wooded hollows. Take a hike, meander along Skyline Drive or picnic with the family. Shenandoah National Park extends along the Blue Ridge Mountains in the US, state of Virginia. The Skyline Drive runs its length and a vast network of trails includes a section of the long distance Appalachian Trail. Mostly forested, the park features wetlands, waterfalls and rocky peaks like Hawksbill and Old Drag Mountains. Shenandoah is home to many bird species, deer, squirrels and the elusive black bear. At number 12 we have Great Smoky Mountains National Park. It straddles the border between North Carolina and Tennessee. The sprawling landscape encompasses lush forests and an abundance of wildflowers that bloom year-round. Streams, rivers and waterfalls appear along hiking routes that include a segment of the Appalachian Trail. An observation tower tops Klingman's Dome, the high speed, offering scenic views of the main scattered mountains. World-renowned for its diversity of plant and animal life, the beauty of its ancient mountains and the quality of its remnants of southern Appalachian mountain culture. This is America's most visited national park and number 12 on our list. At number 11 we have Grand Staten National Park. Rising above a scene rich with extraordinary wildlife, pristine lakes and alpine terrain, the Tata Ridge stands monument to the people who fought to protect it. These are mountains of the imagination. Mountains that led to the creation of Grand Tatum National Park, where you can explore over 200 miles of trails, flow the Snake River or enjoy the serenity of this remarkable place. Grand Tatum National Park is in the northwest of the US state of Wyoming. It encompasses the Tatum Mountain Ledge, the 4000 meter Grand Tatum Peak and the valley known as Jackson Hole. It's a popular destination in summer for mountaineering, hiking, backcountry camping and fishing. 
This is a most amazing park with breathtaking views. Take the tram from the Teton village to the top of the mountain and enjoy the views. Number 10 we have Acadia National Park. Acadia National Park is a 47,000 acre Atlantic coast recreation area, primarily on Maine's Mount Desert Island. Its landscape is marked by woodland, rocky beaches and glacial scoured granite peaks such as Cadillac Mountain, the highest point on the United States East Coast. Among the wildlife are mooses, birds, whales and seabirds. The bayside town of Bar Harbor with restaurants and shops is a popular getaway. The Acadia National Park protects the natural beauty of the highest rocky headlands along the Atlantic coastline of the United States. An abundance of habitats with high biodiversity, clean air and water, and a rich cultural heritage. Each year, more than 3.3 million people explore 7 peaks above 1,000 feet, 158 miles of hiking trails, and 45 miles of carriage roads with 18 stone bridges. At number 9 we have the Nani National Park. The Nani National Park and Preserve encompasses 6 million acres of Alaska's interior wilderness. Its centerpiece is 20,000 feet high, Denali, North America's tallest peak. With terrain of tundra, spruce forests and glaciers, the park is home to wildlife including grizzly bears, wolves, mooses, caribou and dali sheep. Popular activities in summer include biking, backpacking, hiking and mountain. Denali National Park ranks up with the Yosemite National Park in terms of the fascinating geology, wildlife and beauty. Visit the Husky Homestead for the ultimate Husky experience. At number 8 we have Bryce Canyon National Park. A sprawling reserve in southern Utah is known for crimson colored hoodoos which are spiral shaped rock formations. The park's main road leads past the expansive Bryce Amphitheater, a hoodoo filled depression line below the rim trail hiking path. Over 2 million visitors come to experience the otherworldly magic of Bryce Canyon National Park each year, most between March and early October. Inspiration Point is a lookout into the canyon with yet another magnificent view. You can take the shuttle to Inspiration Point or hike from Sunset Point. It is a moderate climb on a dirt path to get to Inspiration Point, but definitely worth it. The scenery is beautiful and the view changes as you hike the path. At number 7 we have Sequoia National Park. Another park that is truly unique from others is Sequoia National Park. It's known for its huge sequoia trees, notably the General Sherman tree dominating the giant forest. Huge mountains, rock foothills, deep canyons, bed caverns and the world's largest trees. These two parks lie side by side in the southern Sierra Nevada, east of the San Jacqueline Valley. At number 6 we have Grand Canyon National Park. Probably one of the best parks you can see in the United States. The views are just incredible and there are many hiking opportunities. Grand Canyon National Park in Arizona is home to much of the immense Grand Canyon with its layered bands of red rock revealing millions of years of geological history. Viewpoints include Meyer Point, Lippin Point with wide views of the canyon and Colorado River is popular especially at sunrise and sunset. The most developed area of Grand Canyon National Park, the South Rim, offers amenities such as hotels and water stations but it's also more crowded than the North Rim. Scenic highlights include Pipe Creek Vista and Yavapal Point. It is far beyond what you may have seen in pictures or movies, and until you stand on the rim or hike the trail, you will not really come in contact with what this place is all about. At number 5 we have Glacier National Park. Once you get to the park, you'll find the most scenic route in the whole America. Many people flock to Glacier National Park just to take the going to the sun road. I've done the same thing and absolutely recommend it. The beautiful views you get are absolutely worth it. There are many look and points where you can stop and take photos and videos. Waterfalls, nature, meadows and glaciers are just some of the most interesting points you could see from the famous going to the sun road. At number 4 we have the Arches National Park. 
Archie National Park lies north of Moab in the state of Utah. Bordered by the Colorado River in the southeast, it's known as the site of more than 2,000 natural sandstone arches, such as the massive, red hued delicate arch in the east. Long, thin, landscape arch stands in Devil's Garden to the north. Other geological formations include Balance Rock, towering over the desert landscape in the middle of the park. Whether you have one hour or three days, there are many places you can explore within the park. At number 3 we have Yellowstone National Park. One of the most unique parks that I have visited. It is completely different from the previous ones, especially if there is not much hiking involved. Bison is the animal that I would encounter almost all the time while driving around the park. Yellowstone National Park features dramatic canyons, alpine rivers, lush forests, hot springs and gushing glaciers. It's also home to hundreds of animals including birds, wolves, bisons, elks and antelopes. Located mostly in Wyoming, the park spreads into parts of Montana and Idaho as well. These locations are also known for the highest activity of bears in the United States. At number 2 we have Yosemite National Park. My another favorite national park that I fell in love with. I have been there several times and got amazing experience each time. There are many beautiful hikes from easy trails to the most difficult ones. The Yosemite National Park is located in California and is around 4 to 5 hours away from San Francisco Bay Area. It takes around 6 hours to get there from Los Angeles. Yosemite National Park includes nearly 1,200 square miles of mountainous scenery, including high cliffs, deep valleys, tall waterfalls, ancient giant sequoias and large wilderness. Millions of people visit Yosemite each year to experience its beauty and its many opportunities for enjoyment. At number 1 we have the Zion National Park. For me personally, the most beautiful and one of the best national parks in the United States. I have been there a few times and absolutely love it. It is a hiker's dream. There are many trails that will reward you with amazing views. The most famous and also most difficult trail is the Angels Landing. My favorite trails are the Narrows and the Observation Point Trail. Zao National Park is located in Utah and the trails are accessible only by the shuttle bus. You will have to leave your car on the main road parking lot and then take the shuttle to desired trail. There are a wide variety of hikes for all levels of expertise and physical ability. This is a must-see destination for those who love natural beauty. Many of the hikes are doable for people that are not in that great of a shape. I hope you enjoyed the video about 20 best national parks in the United States. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we post a new video. We will try to make it every other day, so make sure you stick around. Also follow us on Instagram at travelnowsmart. 